Hi good people and welcome to part 20 of my first DIY CNC machine series. As some of you already know, I have had the wish of making and mounting a dust shoe on my DIY CNC machine. In this video I will show you the process of designing, failing and in the end making a dust shoe design that works quite good. I made my design in Fusion 360 and you first see me making a mock-up of my spindle so that I can design the dust shoe around it. In my first attempt I was thinking about making a plywood body and attaching it to the set axis plate with bolts and thereby making it adjustable in the height. This in itself, in theory, is a good idea, but in practical use it's not that easy or practical. Here you can see the plywood plate I was thinking about using first. And then I imported my vacuum hose adapter from my DIY dust cyclone project. And attach it to the plywood plate with bolts. My thoughts here was to 3D print the adapter on my 3D printer. As I finished up the design, I saw that the transition from the bottom plate to the adjustable blocks just wouldn't have been strong enough, and they would surely have broken off if I used them. I altered the design by moving the adjustable pieces all the way up on the set axis plate, so I could make stronger attachment brackets out of plywood. I had to make the base plate bigger to get room for the corner brackets I was thinking about making. The corner brackets got some holes in them to reduce the weight. When I finished this design I saw that this whole assembly was going to get big and heavy and even if it were a bit adjustable up and down on the set axis plate it would have been too big and bulky for my CNC machine. This made me scrap the whole idea of making it adjustable and out of plywood. Why not make it fit right on the spindle itself and why not 3D print the whole dust shoe? I had to do one change to the CNC machine for this to work. I had to move one of the spindle clamps or mounts that I made in another video so I could get room to mount the dust shoe right on the spindle itself. This made me come up with a much slimmer, lighter and usable dust shoe. So I fired up my Creality CR10 Mini 3D printer and printed the whole dust shoe. So here we have the first uh, edition of the 3D printed dust shoe. It was quite okay, but I made the body too thin in this transition, so it br broke off. For now I just uh, glued around here just to test the design. And I will go back later, make this thicker, this body here, and print it again and make a new stronger part. Just so you understand how this uh, dust shoe is going to fit, it's going to go on the router like this, on the spindle. This is quite a good fit on the spindle. When I have attached the brushes, I also want to make a set screw, one on each side, which goes in here and uh, attaches to the spindle. I'm going to do that after I have attached the brushes. The brushes are going to be under here. And the vacuum hose is going to hook up on this one. That way it's going to suck all the dust, hopefully, up in this hose. Oh yeah!
Here I have my trusted old glue gun. It's at least old, maybe not so much trusted. Here I have the dust shoe in my vise. Now I'm going to glue on the brushes. But before I do that, I want to cut off the top layer here, just so I get the brushes even further up inside the 3D printed piece for my dust shoe. So I'm going to cut these brushes uh, right about where the top seam is. That way the brushes will still be in here. This is a common tool that I'm going to be using and a common length from the spindle if I'm using other tools. Like so, like so, and like so. I'm cutting on the dust shoe so I can cut the brushes to length. Looking where the end of my tool is, that is where the stock piece is going to be that I'm cutting in. And I don't want the brushes to be too long because then it will press up like this and uh, that's no good. I can see the tool is about maybe a little bit down. So the end of the tool is approximately where this tape is. Now I have to cut the brushes. thing I want to do is to make some set screws, one on each side, here, so I can uh, attach the router to the dust shoe. So I'm going to use the M6 bolts, and I'm going to thread the holes with the bolt itself. My plan now is to test the dust shoe, but first I have to attach a workpiece. I made a g-code here now with a zero point in the middle of the piece. So let's set the zero first. Set the zero point, erase the set axis again. Like so. And I can attach the dust shoe. Attach the vacuum hose. It goes on this tube. I'm going to attach this permanently here later and now let's test if this is going to work like it should
Okay, I don't think this was too bad. There was no saw spoon spitting out in the back and on the wall and up in the air like it normally is. Everything got sucked up except uh, some sawdust that uh, got out in the back. But this is uh, very good. Uh, there are some brush uh, leftovers, but uh, no problem. Let's clean it up. Thanks for watching. Check out links below for my website, Instagram and Facebook. And please leave a comment, like or dislike, subscribe if you want. Goodbye for now.